Welcome to the Prescription for Living in Houston podcast, where we go over exactly what it's like to work, eat, sleep, and play right here in Houston. Um, let's let's move on to pros and cons. Um, right. What would you say the top three pros of living in Montrose are? Location, 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 <laughs> I guess. Uh, well, location is one of them, um, and which is a huge category. I mean, that that's, encompasses a lot. Um, People are friendly, uh, you know, during uh, COVID, we all not, we don't have a whole lot of yard space on these townhomes. So during COVID, everybody brought out their lawn chairs and we had, you know, driveway happy hours. And I guess a lot of the city did, but uh, you get to know your neighbors. If you have a pet, you're walking the dog and you get to know your neighbors. And it's, uh, so we're, we're on about two or three little text chains. And so if, there's a strange car parked across the street from somebody's house. Someone's getting a text about it, and, you know. So it's we all kind of watch each other's backs. Uh, so it's a friendly uh, neighborhood. Um, third, what would you want to say is third? You know, people would say, you know, probably your first reaction, oh, Montrose isn't that a dangerous area? We have a constable program, which a lot of Houston does, and they're awesome. And you can call them, and they'll be here in less than five minutes and they're they're kind of the the police but a layer between us and the police call hpd they might be there pretty quick they might not be it might be a couple hours but the constable program um everyone buys into it and con contributes to it so we have a really uh, robust uh thing which keeps you know there are homeless people and strange people occasionally walking down the street but um you know the neighborhood watches out for each other and and the constables are really good about uh, reacting if there is an incident and and their presence here I think helps you know keep people from doing bad things well that's a bad <laughs> for sure what would you say the cons uh, cons well we, we aren't we don't have a lot of space it is a little little tighter here than most neighborhoods you know the potential that when when we had that uh, when was it the the big rainstorm that we had on tax day, uh, you know that they've done they've come in and they've tried they have added you know wastewater uh, um, whatever the system to, to take the rainwater away yeah. but we're low elevation so uh, you know the potential for flooding here just from the streets not being able, the, the inlets not being able to handle all the water so in a, a hurricane or rain event um we are a little nervous about we didn't we didn't flood we've never flooded but it got close so um so i'd say that's potentially a negative um golly what else not very bike friendly i mean oh, the city the city keeps trying to make these bike lanes, and uh, I don't see people riding on them, and I wouldn't ride on them with the, with with uh, with the way we drive around here. We we love cars in Houston. We love oil and gas. And we love freeways. You know, yeah. so we those do guys on bikes. Cars. They need to take your bike west and get out there to Brenham if you want to ride your bike. So. Or go to Memorial Park. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, two laps around Memorial. No, excellent. <laughs> thank you for that thank you for joining us on the prescription for living in houston podcast we've had a wonderful time discussing what it's like to work eat sleep and play right here in the heart of texas if you're considering a move to houston or within houston we're here to guide and assist you don't hesitate to reach out with a call or an email at dan at dhsrealtygroup.com and remember the charm of houston lies in its diverse neighborhoods so make sure to tune in next week where we'll be exploring another vibrant neighborhood in Houston, offering insights into its unique lifestyle and opportunities. Until then, stay safe and keep envisioning your perfect Houston living experience. Goodbye for now, and we'll catch you in our next episode.